got him in, got some heat behind him. And that's the same thing. He has to serve that way because he can't knock you down. He did serve one ace, but basically he has to place it well and keep you guessing, keep you off stride. Second double for McEnroe. This is the first real test on the serve because this is seems more important now trying to run out the first set. The other ones are just getting into it and everything's going fine. Now let's see if we can keep it up. This would be good for him if he has a good service game. See, he made that volley well inside the service line. That's a real key for him. Oh. Let's watch how he gets inside. First, it tosses well in, into the court. That gets his back leg started. Now watch him. See, he's inside that service line to make that first volley. The ball was up a little bit, which helped him. 15 all. Thirty fifteen. He's lost only three points on his serve. I've always loved that expression, and it's it's a usable expression, back leg. Yep. As you just said. Yep. <laughs> Sounds well, kind of funny out of context. That's right. Well, when you're in that position, he's got a front leg and a back leg. First. First. Another interesting thing, what an important thing is when you're winning your serve that handily, you can take chances on the other guy's serve on the return because you're you're just cruising along. You figure you're, you can hold yours. Sort of a miss hit return by Sanchez. We got up into an awkward spot for John. He'd like to have that one back because it was makeable. I'm not so sure it was you could put it away, but it certainly could have stayed in the point. Grandstand. David Wheaton and Kevin Curran are fighting to get to, to advance. The winner of that match plays the winner of this one right here. Curran is up 2 1. <laughs> Missed it. Called a fault. Here's a quick look at that serve. Boy, it was close. This is the live action second serve. This. Mary, who the heck ever invented the net? <laughs> you realize what a problem that creates for tennis players? <laughs> that return ticks the top of the tape and bounces over, so it just throws Macker off completely. What about Derek Rostagno? Who, oh, yeah. who ever had an... Uh, oh, a yeah. more unlucky against net court Becker. experience. Match point against Boris Becker. Becker rips a shot, plays off that net. Sitting on it, too. Rostanio is right there. Just blocked the four and volley down the line. He's a winner. Becker doesn't win the open. Remember the time that Roscoe Tanner knocked it down? Amazing. That Advantage. There's the same culprit. Second double in this game for McEnroe. He started out with a double. Isn't it interesting how he was cruising along so easily? And when it's important, it, it just becomes tougher. Now break point for Sanchez. Oh, what a serve. Look where Sanchez finished. Almost in the seat. 
there's a way to take a, take this away from a left hander. You got to stand way way over to your left. Good arch to the back. Watch this baby. Now watch where Sanchez is. See, he doesn't cut it off. He's going parallel to the baseline. He has to start farther to the left and cut up. Go up to his left, meet the ball before it breaks so wide. But a great serve by Macro under pressure. McEnroe's looking, trying to say his serve was out. This is a darn good serve, and watch topspin return. And even though McEnroe was inside the service line, he was expecting the ball to come down the other side. That is a beautiful return by the Spaniard. Gets him again to break point. See, Sanchez is not near that left single sideline. He moves that way. <laughs> Sanchez. And that makes it 5-4. McEnroe in the first. And that's what he thinks about the tennis ball as we come back live with Sanchez back on serve at 4-5 in the first set. McEnroe had been cruising on his serve. But in that in that last service Love game of his, so you have a look at Team McEnroe there. See a lot. I see a couple of Douglasson faces in that crowd. Yeah, uh, his last service game, every serve that he did get into the court, because he had a couple of those balls, it went to the Sanchez back, and he just started sitting there waiting for it. Again, Sanchez could get very grooved. you saw there it looked as though Sanchez had him beaten with the forehand passing shot right there love 30 now he tries to go in behind him did nothing with it and then he still almost got back Quiet, into the please. point love 30 well that's good stuff there what hands by McEnroe <laughs> You know, it just seems funny. I look down at my score sheet and it says Emilio Sanchez seated seven. And I've got no number after McEnroe. Yeah. Unseated. The first time, what, 12 years? 13. 13 years. Since 1977. He's yeah. been seated more, one more than any other player. And that's five times he was seated one. Four times, of course, he won it. He won three Wimbledons, too. Two set points now for McEnroe. All that war paint's been wiped off of John's face. Yeah. It's overcast. That's a break. Didn't come over. 30-40. He loves that forehand. It's his favorite shot. And he did a good job. Dude. Emilio Sanchez of running around the backhand side, taking it as a forehand, went a big inside-out pass. That's a very good effort. Look how far off the court he was. 
And if you recall earlier this game, he just ripped that one down the line from that same kind of position. So to be able to go either way with it makes you doubly effective. It's Deuce. Two set points saved by Sanchez. <laughs> Look at him. He has to be sure he doesn't touch the net. This part's easy. Easy for you. <laughs> the easiest one of the day of the day for him too. Tremendous stuff. Did you hear those feet squeaking? That good footwork by Sanchez. Yeah, it sounds like he's playing Five basketball. Yep. That's how, I mean, this guy can scoot. He's going to need a retread. Live at the stadium court. The U.S. Open of 1990. 